Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install the latest version of Replay Mod for 1.15.2. Now, I believe this recently came out and I believe it came out last night. So I was thinking of showing people how to install it just in case if they don't know how or, or something like that. So just in case if you need some help, here you go. So I'm gonna show you how to install it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to this website, replaymod.com, and I'm gonna have a link to these sites in the description. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on to this and open it in a new tab, and it should take you to this fabricmc.net. Now you wanna go back to the replay mod website and you wanna click on this Fabric API and you wanna click open new tab and it should take you to Curse Forge. Now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to files and you wanna pick whichever you need. So what I'm gonna do is because I'm pretty sure these top two, I believe these top two are like beta versions. So what I did was I clicked this third one here and you just click this little download thing here there we go and then all you have to do is click save file and save it to wherever you need it so then the next thing you want to do is you want to come over to the fabric page and you want to click whichever you want download installer the jar or the exe file now i do want to mention something real quick uh your windows smart screen or whatever as you can see down here might show up as like unknown software or whatever now if you don't want to take the chances of it possibly being a virus which i I can guarantee you it's not, but just in case, if you don't want to take the chances, then just stop watching this video and don't do the tutorial. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to click on the download installer and then hit save file and save it to wherever you want. So after you've done that, just drag it to your desktop or wherever you want it to be. Now what you want to do is this fabric installer here, you just double click on it. So what you want to do is you want to click on the client and then when it says Minecraft version, whichever Minecraft you want, the version you want it for, of course pick that and then make sure you have the right Minecraft install location. So wherever you put your Minecraft basically and then you just hit install now I already have it installed so I'm not gonna hit install so I'm just gonna close this out but make sure to install it app data roaming minecraft and then what you want to do is you want to go to mods and then you want to take this fabric api that you downloaded earlier and you want to drag it in there so then the next thing you want to do is you want to go back to the replay mod website and you want to click this mirror button and it should pop up a download and then you just hit save save file save it to wherever you want it to be and after you done you've done that just go to your minecraft folder so wherever you saved your minecraft of course go to dot minecraft and then mods and if you don't have mods folder Folder, just uh, create a mods folder by create new file and then call it mods so mods like that okay so you just want to go to your mods and then you want to drag in your replay mod and your fabric API like earlier and then after you've done that you're pretty much ready so all you need to do is you need to double click on your minecraft launcher and it should be the first one to pop up but just in case if it's not I have one other idea which is click on this installations and then click plus and then the new and you should see it probably at like the bottom somewhere here so if i scroll down to the bottom see how it says like release forge and such it it should be down there i think no it should it should either be on the top or the bottom i'm not 100 sure because whenever i install it it's always on the top for me so yeah if it's not there go through your installations if it's not in your installations then you've done something wrong and what you need to do now is you just click on your replay or your fabric loader and you just hit play and that's really about it um i'll just start up minecraft just so you can see so once you start up minecraft you should see at the very bottom left it says minecraft 1.15.2 fabric modded now that means it's working and if you also see replay viewer and replay center that also means it's working so just to make sure it 100 it works just go on to single player or multiplayer whichever and on the top right up here it should say record single player and that should be checked which means it's gonna record single player. So let's say if I log into this hardcore world, see when you join in your world, it should say replay mod recording started, which means I can just move around here. I don't know, walk up to these zombies here and it should basically, look, if I, if I walk up to these guys and let's just say I walk around and okay, that should be good enough. If I just quit the world, it should save that as a replay, which means if I go into replay viewer and I double click on this, it should have the replay here, as you can see. So if I just, if I'm in here, it should have my replay. And you might be wondering, how is this useful? 
How is this useful? Well, because you can do third person time lapses. So let's say if I was working on this build of mine, I can just push F1 and boom, I have a third person time lapse that I can either record or I can render. And to render you need like FFmpeg and such, but basically it's really useful because you can use it for time lapses and you can also use it for uh, for cinematic type things. Now, for example, all I have to do is I can just hit this and see it kind of makes a more cinematic type feel and it just, it's nicer. But you can make really, really nice stuff with this. You just gotta spend the time on it. But yeah, that is it for the tutorial. If this helped you in any way, please leave a like and subscribe. But that's it. Um, <laughs> and yeah, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.